Right, what up YouTube? I am back and uh, out here with my V-Dub um, trying to replace a part so I'm going to show you what that is. So I needed to uh, figure out what was going on here. I have a water leak and um, I'm not sure where it's coming from but what a lot of people I've seen say it can come from here and you can see there's some uh, dried up antifreeze some dried up coolant there so probably have a leak there um, I see a bunch of coolant underneath the car as well I don't know where that's coming from so I'm gonna just replace this and uh, go from there all right so I've been watching a couple of videos on YouTube and I think I can do this I'm a little nervous about it but um, I think I can figure it out one thing that I did do before I went ahead and started this project is I went on Amazon, which I wish I wouldn't have had to do because I hate Amazon, but um, bought this tool for taking off the hose clamps or loosening them, moving them out of the way to, to release the hoses. So I recommend getting one of these. I think I paid 15, 20 bucks for it. Can't remember. All right. So, remove the oil dipstick, and you can just pull up on this here and slide it out. You don't have to remove any bolts or anything like that to remove the uh, basic engine cover. Then you're going to want to get yourself a drain pan because you're going to be leaking a bunch of fluid here. Make sure you put your uh, oil dipstick back in so you don't drop any dirt and stuff into your engine all right so I got two oil pans one to catch the antifreeze this is a big one and then another one to pour it in when I'm done all right so the first step I'm gonna do is remove uh, one of these hoses here it's gonna be kind of hard to see but uh, there's two hoses here apparently this is the oil cooler so there's this front one and then there's another one in the back here I'm gonna take off this back one and um, let the coolant leak out. Before I pull it off, I'm gonna loosen this up to relieve the pressure. I don't know how much pressure there's gonna be, but probably not too much, I'm assuming. And uh, then that'll, uh, you'll see the coolant come out from the rear hose. What up YouTube, I'm uh, over here at O'Reilly's. I had to pick up some parts. Uh, three things I got was the uh, flange. It was only like 10 bucks. And uh, some coolant. Anyways, what I was saying was that I came over here to get some parts and uh, I got the uh, coolant flange. Didn't know what it was called. So you might want to try to figure out the part number. But we figured it out, there's only three. Um, that you can buy anyways and then uh, I got the uh, oil I'm sorry the uh, water temperature sensor and uh, they actually sell the VW coolant now here at the um, O'Reilly's so I don't have to go all the way to the dealership in another city to go pick it up so I'm gonna go buy some tools I need to buy some hose removers and also a pry bar to help get the uh, hoses off just make my job a little bit easier Hopefully, if you want to make your job easier too, you go ahead and pick those up. If not, you'll get it done. It's not necessary. All right, I'm out here picking up some more tools. And I uh, got a pry bar set, 10 bucks. Got some uh, pick tools, pick and hook set. Some gloves, $7.99, they were on sale, and some razor blades. So, um, so here we are, I don't know, half an hour later, $30 here at Harbor Freight, another 30 bucks over at um, O'Reilly's. All right, YouTube, a little sidebar here. I went to go pick up some tools. This is uh, Pittsburgh. Don't be misled, it's made in China. Uh, Four-piece heavy-duty pry bar set. 
uh, carbon steel construction lifetime warranty. Item number 1001654 and powder coated ergonomic grip. Pretty nice stuff here. So for the great price of $9.99 plus tax. So hopefully this will help me get the um, hoses off my car. And if that doesn't work, I got some of these. So this is a seven piece pick and hook set. And this was $7.99. So there you go. All right, so what I found is that uh, this tool works the best at prying this uh, hose off. Um, let's see if you guys can see it. There it is right there. Just get it in there and use that uh, part there as a pry, as an area to pry off. And now that I got it pretty loose, I'm just gonna pull it off with uh, my hand so it can drain the coins. Alright, so draining the coolant. Um, I'm wearing a glove here to protect myself. <sighs> Had a towel, but missed the towel. So now that we got that off, drain the coolant, I'm going to go ahead and put it back on and uh, go from there. Okay, so I went ahead and removed this clip uh, from uh, right here, and uh, I did that so I could remove this sensor, and you can see it's wet from the coolant. Um, I went ahead and bought a new one, and hopefully the new one comes with a seal. You see this rubber seal here. Um, it's a little bit corroded. It looks like it's coming apart right there. Um, so that could also be a pretty good source of a leak. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and replace that. Um, you see a lot of coolant there. That actually may be the main source for this whole leak. So I could just replace this and save me a headache. Um, see what happens. I might, I might just do that instead of replacing the whole uh, flange here. Okay, so a couple tips. Uh, I took off this hose here that goes from here to the air, air cleaner box. It's this one here. Helps just to give you some more room. Um, you take it off by squeezing this and it opens it up. You just pull it off. So take that off to give you some more room. And then you can take the hoses off. Um, what I'll tell you about the hoses is, you know, you squeeze this clamp and don't try to slide the clamp up the hose. Just squeeze it and then pull on the hose to remove it. Don't worry about trying to move the clamp up with the hose to take it off. It's going to be too hard. Just open up the clamp and then pull on the hose and you should be able to take it off. Again, these pliers really help because they have a locking mechanism on them. So when you open it up, uh, once you get the hose clamp, the hose clamp squeezed, it stays locked and it won't, you know, stay open. So it won't return. So that helps you take these clamps off. That's probably one of the hardest parts so far, as, I, as I've heard someone else say. Um, so now that I got the four hoses off, this one, uh, this one here, and the little one down here, actually three hoses, and then the um, sensor pulled out and I can take off the uh, bolts. The other thing I did is I took this wire off its um, clip so I can move that out of the way a little bit too. And uh, I can get up these 10 millimeter bolts that are way back there. There's one back here and then there's another one underneath this. All right, YouTube, so I made one mistake already and uh, I already knew this but I forgot uh, basically there is a bolt um, it's kind of like a stud and it's 
it's uh, holding this bracket. It's gonna be kind of hard to see, but I got my socket on it right now. So there's two 10 millimeter bolts. So what you gotta do is take off the first one. And then the second one, what you gotta do is see this hose here. This is actually a plastic hose. You can pull up on it to get the bracket out of the way so you can get your socket on there. Once you got your socket on there, you can let go and just unscrew the bolt and that will uh, pull the stud out and then you can take off this. I tried to take this off, this flange, before I did that and so I broke the, I broke the uh, area around the hole where the flange is, uh, but that's okay because I'm going to replace this. So, not a big mistake, but just in case. Okay, YouTube, so here is the flange that I took off. Um, you can see here where it's where it was leaking uh, possibly from inside here. Uh, so there might be a crack here. And that was because the gasket that goes inside here was no good anymore. Um, that the gasket that goes on the uh, sensor. So it's leaking here. Um, that could be where this is coming from and all this down here. Uh, looks like there may have been some leakage around the, the bolt here. Um, look at the other side though. I broke this so this is not how it was. Um, I broke it when I was taking it off. But you can see inside and there's a crack all the way across here. I'm not sure if I did that when I was taking it off but it seems kind of big for it to have broken that much um, from taking it off. So anyways, but anyways this is all going to come off anyways and be replaced. Um, and here's the bolt that I was talking about. It has a stud. So that goes in there. And then you have a bracket that goes here. And then you have another 10 millimeter bolt that goes on top of that. So let's get to putting the new one on. Let's show you the new one. All right. So uh, this is the new one. Um, Make sure you compare, make sure it's the same thing. And this is not a VW, this is not made in Germany, it's made in China. As you can see there, it was only like 10 bucks. Um, so I'm sure it'll do fine. And uh, it comes with a new gasket. That gasket goes here. I am not going to put any sealant, even though. That's what you see on YouTube. Uh, that's just my choice. So anyways, let's get this new puppy on there. All right, YouTube. Hopefully you all can see what I got going on here. Uh, put a few zip ties in there to hold the hose out of the way. This here, pull it up out of the way so I can get this bolt on that's back there that you can't see. Um, so I recommend using some zip ties to hold this pipe up out of the way so you can get the, the bolts in behind the bracket that is attached to this hose that cannot be removed. So you got to pull the hose up to get the bracket out of the way to get the stud in. And then once you got it in, uh, you can tighten it up finger tight first and then use your, your socket. Um, the other bolts back here kind of hard to see I'm gonna point at it with my glove see my glove there those are both 10 millimeters um, so yeah now that I got that on I can put the other bolt that goes on top that basically holds the bracket in place all right so I just wanted to show you the uh, old sensor the grommet that goes on there can be replaced but um, you can see it's pretty eaten up and so there was probably a leak coming from here. Now the sensor may still be good, um, but I went ahead and just replaced it anyways. Um, it was a lifetime warranty from AutoZone or O'Reilly. 1049, I believe. I'm um, sorry, 1199. It's the coolant sensor. So lifetime warranty should be a good product. All right, YouTube, so I'm pretty much done. I got everything back together, got all the hoses back on, including the air air cleaner hose. Um, 
I noticed this broke while I was messing around with that. There's two grommets here uh, that uh, help hold this in place. I don't know what this thing is, but basically those two rubber things have broken. So hopefully I can get some new ones from the dealership. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and fill up the reservoir with coolant. Like I said, I got some stuff from the O'Reilly's. This is not from the dealership. Um, so it says made in Germany. Um, hopefully this is the right stuff. Should be pink. All right, so I went ahead and uh, filled it up with coolant. Um, this is a quart and a half or 1.5 liters, I guess. I don't know, 1.58 quarts. And it wasn't enough, so uh, it's still kind of low. You want it up to right here. Um, and so I'm gonna go ahead and get some more and fill it up. So it was 16 bucks for a quart and a half. It's gonna cost you the same if you go to the dealership because the dealership only sells it in the larger containers and it's probably like 30 bucks. But I'm gonna have to buy two of these, so you're not gonna really save any money. So if you can go to the dealership ahead of time, and get your coolant before you start this project. I recommend that. Other than that, this has been another uh, YouTube video on V Dubs changing the coolant flange. Other people have done this on YouTube. Uh, I just thought I'd do my own. Um, I'm not a mechanic, I'm a enthusiast, I'm a hobbyist. So if you, if you don't think you can do it, I think you can. Um, I didn't have a lot of faith in myself and being able to do this, but was able to pull it off. So my skill level, I don't know, I want to say between one and 10, I'd probably say I give myself a, anywhere between five and 10, maybe eight. Um, so I think you can do it. I've never done it before and pulled it off just watching YouTube videos. So this is Abel Wani, Abalone on YouTube. Be dubbing it, peace.